हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति देश पांडे टीचर टुडे आई विल बी कवरिंग वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एट स्टैंडर्ड स्कॉलरशिप मैथ सेक्शन द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज परसेंटेज सी स्टूडेंट्स परसेंटेज इज नॉट न्यू टू यू यू हैव बीन स्टडीइंग दिस फ्रॉम फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द सम्स राइट अवे ओके सी फर्स्ट सम विल अपीयर ऑन योर स्क्रीन a school had 1000 students in the year 2016 if every year the number of students increases by 20% then what will be the strength of the school in the year 2018 okay here you need to use this formula the formula of a compound amount not compound interest compound amount okay if the uh, number of students increases every year then it will be plus if it decreases then it will be minus otherwise the formula is same okay you need to be very very careful if it is decreases then it is minus here now they have given us 1000 students in the year 2016 and they are telling us to find out 2018 so here p is 1000 and r is 20 20% right and n is 2 years that is 2018 minus 2016 starting is 16 and end is 18 so 2 years span so let's do it a is what we want they are asking us what will be the strength of the school in 2018 so this is a okay so 1000 1 plus 20 upon 100 raised to 2 i can reduce this 1s are 5s are so it is 1 upon 5 so i'll find out the lcm as 5 so this will be 5 plus 1 upon 5 so this is 1000 into 6 upon 5 the whole square so it is 1000 into 6 upon 5 don't write 36 upon 25 no need okay 52s are 10 and 00 54s are 20 and 10 then here it is 40 into 36 that is 1440 students very very easy this one formula and you are done okay there is one more method i call it as a 100 family method what is that is we assume in 2016 total students as 100 in the year 2016 20% increase is there that is 20 so now at the end of first year that is 2017 it will be 120 Then again, twenty percent increase. Twenty percent of one twenty. See, ten percent is twelve. You have to just hide this zero. Whatever remains is the ten percent. If ten percent is twelve, then twenty percent is twelve plus twelve, twenty-four. So it will be one forty-four. So when hundred is the beginning of two thousand sixteen, in two thousand eighteen, it becomes one forty-four. so if it is 1000 then it will become how much so just observation it is into 10 so this also will be into 10 so 1440 this is method 2 method 2 this is method 1 both the methods are equally correct this is based on formula this is based on 100 okay very very interesting isn't it Let's go ahead. Next sum will appear on your screen. The price of an article was increased by twenty percent. After some days, the price was reduced by twenty percent. Is the reduced price of the article more or less than the original price by how many percent? Here again, we will make use of hundred origin or original uh, price. We will take it as hundred rupees hundred. if it is increased by 20% increase by 20% it will become 120 right then if 
they reduce it by 20 percent. Now 20 percent of 120, not 100. So 120 ka 10, uh, 10 percent is 12, so 20 percent is 24. So minus, reduce, here it was addition. So this is 96. 96. The final price will be 96. Initially it was 100. It became 96 because of this increase and decrease. So there is a 4% less. Less by 4% is the answer. So interesting. We just took the base as 100. Found out the implications with this increase and decrease. And then we compared. Since the base was 100, percentage is the base 100. So our job became very easy. Just found, found out the difference. 100 minus 96. 100 tha original price. 96 ho gaya. Matlab 4% decrease. This 100 is very useful number. Especially in percentage. Right? Chal. Aage badte hai. Rajendra scored 20% less marks than Ravina. How much percentage more marks did Ravina score than Rajendra? This is nothing but the comparison between Rajendra and Ravina. See here, there is one formula given in your book. Please check that formula. We are going to use the same formula here. Okay? The formula is 100 into increase or more or less whatever it is percentage that percentage here it is 20 20 percent and if it is less Rajendra whatever information they have given Rajendra is less so it will be 100 minus 20 here if Rajendra would have been more than Ravina we would have put here plus please be careful whatever information they have given if it is less then it will be minus here if they have given you more then it will be plus here ok the uh, numerator is going to be same, 100 into that percentage, okay. So what is this? 100 into 20 and 80. So let's do the division. 2 1s are, 2 4s are, 4, 25. So 25 percent more marks or percentage uh, Ravina has got as compared to Rajendra. Only this one simple formula and we have got the final answer. Ravina has got 25% more than Rajendra. When Rajendra had scored 20% less than Ravina. So, they are not same percentages. Okay. Please be careful here. Next sum will appear on your screen. The population of Murgao increases by 10% per year. If the population this year is 2420, what was the population of Murugav two years ago? Students here also we are going to use the same formula which we had used in the second sum. But here they have not given us P, they have given us A and they are telling us to find out P. Okay, chal, aage hai. The formula is same, A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. Here plus I am taking because here also there is an increase of 10% every year. Okay. Here they have given 2420. After 2 years ka diya hai or before 2 years beginning P pucha hai. So P I am leaving it like that. This is 10%. The number of years 2. So, 2420 is equal to P. Here I can remove this. So, 1 upon 10. So, denominator equal kar rahi So, 10 plus 1 upon 10. I hope you know this properly. 11 upon 10 raised to 2. So, it is 2420 is equal to P into 11 upon 10 into 11 upon 10. 2 times. So, 2420, I am leaving this P alone here. So, 10, dono division hai, it will go up into OK. And this 11, both 11s will come down. 
that will give us P. So 11 twos are 22 and 11 twos are 22 and this 0. Then 11 twos are 22 and this 0. So 20, 10 and 10. Multiplication is 2000. So 2000 has given us final answer as the number of or the population 2 years ago. Okay. This again you can try with 100 family. This sum can be solved with the help of 100, base 100. See, 2 years back if we assume 100 was the population, then 10% uh, increase. So that is 10. So it will become 110 at the end of first year. Then again 10% increase, 10% 10 of 110 that is 11. So it will be 121 at the end of second year. Now this they are saying actually it is 2420. Okay. So 1 to 1 is same as 2420. Then beginning was 100. 100 is actually what? This is actual family, this is 100 family. Okay, 100 has become 121 after second year. So that is actually 2420. So in the beginning it was 100. Then how much? Cross multiplication. So 100 into 2420 upon 121. This one. Okay. So 12 twos are 24 and 1 twos are 2. So this must be 1s are, this must be 2s are. And this 1 0, please don't forget. So, 100 into 20, answer is 2000. See, answer won't change. Let's go ahead. By selling an article for Rs. 3600, a shopkeeper earns a profit of 20%. At what price should he sell the same article to earn a profit of 25%? Students, here also we are going to make use of base 100. If the initial price is 100 and uh, he earns a profit of 20% profit, right? Means 20. So he must have sold that article for 120. Okay? That is actually 3600. Okay? But if he wants to earn 25% uh, profit, then he must sell it the thing of 100 rupees to 125 rupees. If he wants to earn 25% profit, that article he must sell it for 125. So that 100 has become 125. Okay. And this is 120. This is 100 family. This was the beginning. Then I, this is after earning 20% and this is after earning 25%. Everything is calculated on this 100 only. Okay. So 120. 20% 20 wali price ye hai. So 125 wali kaun si? That is what they have asked. Ki if he earns a 25% profit, what price he should sell? If he wants 25% profit, when his base amount is or the price is 100 he must sell it for 125 then actually how much cross multiplication 125 into 3600 upon 120 one zero gone 12 threes are then this zero 125 into 3 that is 375 and one zero 3750 should be his price then only he will be able to earn 25% profit see student here we have used 100 as a helping hand we have formed 100 family here if 100 is the original price then if he wants to earn 20% then he should sell it for this much if he wants 25% then he should sell it for this much and then we related this family with the actual one. So 120 kya tha? 20% profit wali figure. So either ye hai actual 20% profit wali figure. 
सो वन ट्वेंटी फाइव हमें फाइंड आउट करना है सो क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड वी गॉट दंसर सो इजी इज एन इट ओके लेट्स टेक द लास्ट वन स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव रिटर्न दिस सम ऑन दी बोर्ड 40% of 1800 is equal to y percent of 2000 very very easy just write it properly 40% of 1800 is equal to y percent of 2000 first concentrate on one side remove all these zeros possible one on top one down like this so what is remaining 40 into 18 don't multiply just leave it like that and this multiplication by 20 we have to bring it here by dividing upon 20 is equal to y so let's do the division ones are twos are here it is 2 here it is 18 so it is 36 y is equal to 36 okay students if you have any difficulty in this particular chapter let me know in the comment section i will definitely try to answer your queries okay students with this we are through with percentage okay very very important chapter and very very easy chapter okay okay practice more and more sums each sum is going to be little different than other ones so you are going to learn something or the other from each and every sum okay with this we are through with this important chapter percentage students if you enjoy my videos then please share them with more and more students and in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so i will come with the next video very very soon till then study well and very important thing is correct enjoy studying bye